My name is Tilia. I'm a sports scientist, a sports nutritionist and an ex-professional athlete. I want to help you to achieve your athletic goals with scientific knowledge. So the main topics will be nutrition, performance and health. In the first video we will talk about how to get rid of knee pain. The most important muscles that stabilize the knee are quads, hamstrings and glutes. I'm also talking out of experience because I had a knee surgery and knee problems for a long time. The main steps to get rid of knee pain are massaging, stretching, activating and strengthening those muscles who stabilize the knee. Other factors that influence the health of your knee are your sleep, how much you drink, your stress level and my main topic, nutrition. Because you might have an inflammation in your knee, try to focus on foods that are anti-inflammatory. For example, blueberries, red berries, spinach, probiotic yogurt, ginger, etc, etc, etc. Now I'm showing you my daily stretch and a massaging routine to help you to reduce your knee pain by increasing blood flow and blood supply of the knee. Dry and undersupplied tendons and tissues are very, very pressure sensitive. The main tools I'm using are a big foam roll, a small foam roll, a wooden massage stick and a little golf ball. I usually start with a wooden massage stick. I'm treating my quads, both sides and my hamstrings. Um, and I especially go to areas that feel very tight, very sore. Mm, the good thing is you can change a bit the pressure you're applying on the muscles. What also helps me a lot is when I treat my calves and the hollow of the knee manually. To release pressure and increase blood flow, I'm treating my hamstrings and also my quads with a big foam roll. Go also to the sides where you might feel some hard areas. I'm using the tiny foam roll to treat my plantar tendon. Uh, treating the plantar tendon can help you when you have hard calves. Um, to work more precisely, uh, you can also use a little golf ball. The knees are hinged joints and in open positions very very prone to stress. The main reasons of knee pain can be injuries, inflammations, cartilage wear, muscle shortening or misalignment. Make sure you consult a doctor if you have chronic knee pain. In this first exercise we focus on activating our quads. So try to activate your left quad, try to activate your right quad. If you have problems, um, think about pushing your knee against the floor. After this exercise, we need a foam roll or a pillow, which we can put under the knee. And we do the same exercise. We try to activate our uh, quads by lifting up um, the lower leg. Now try to gently lift up your whole leg without using the help of a pillow or a foam roll. Beside the quads, the glutes are very important to stabilize the knee. We go in the following position, lift up our hips and try to go down very slow and go up very slow by activating the glutes. It's very important that your feet soles are flat on the floor and that you don't go on your toes. As a second glute exercise, we stay in the same position, but we straighten one leg and hold it. This is another way of activating glutes and hamstrings. Really try to focus on activating the glutes and to bring your hip from a sitting position in a nice and tall standing position. We call this exercise the horse kick. Um, I have three levels. Now I'm showing the level one horse kick, level two now, and now level three. So level one is kind of low, level two is medium level three is high you will feel that in your glutes that 
um, different areas that will be activated. Very important is that your hips stay parallel, that you're not falling down with one side. So try to focus on that and try to focus on feeling um, your glutes. You can also um, change a bit how far away you kick with your feet. As a last exercise for hamstrings and glutes and for those who are already a bit more advanced, we go in the lunge position. Um, knees and toes show in the same direction, very very important. We bend our knee to 90 degrees, we straighten our leg, we bend our knee, we straighten our leg. And we do the same thing also on the other side. Very important is to put the focus on knees and feet that they show in the same direction all the time. If you want to see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more workout plans and details on Instagram. Looking forward to see you there.